Shan Dolan's JIC was formed in the Waterside area in 1942 by a group of individuals who wanted to keep alive the ideals for which Shan Dolan gave his life. The club was then relocated to the Craigan Estates in the early 1970s by the late John McChrystal, and this is where it remains to the present day. The club is named after Shan Dolan, a prominent Irish Republican from the Waterside area of Derry City. He was a man who spoke Irish fluently and was also an accomplished traditional musician. Shan Dolan was interned and imprisoned on a number of occasions, including in the notorious Al Rawada prison ship for his part in the fight for Irish reunification. Whilst holding the position of Secretary of the Derry City GAA County Board, Shan Dolan was instrumental in the establishment of the Pierce's GAA Club in the Waterside area of Derry and played for them on numerous occasions. He was also a notable hurler on the Derry County team. Shan Dolan died in the Waterside Hospital on the 25th of October 1941 at the young age of 28 due to the mistreatment he received during his imprisonment. He is buried in Ardmore Cemetery. At his Requiem Mass, Father Frank O'Hagan stated that Shan Dolan was a man of ideals and principles, and he was prepared to suffer for those ideals he held in high honour. In English, the word Cregan means rocky ground. Shan Dolan's GAC logo is enshrined in Irish, directly translating as it is on rocky ground that the strongest trees grow. Highly appropriate when we consider the history of Shan Dolan's GAC and the man it is named after. Shan Dolan was set up in the Waterside way back in 1942. But then in the 70s, you know, the trouble started, and in 69, when the trouble started, there was a lot of teams then didn't come into the city because of the trouble, because they didn't travel in and what have you. They'd be far, and the army and they decided, oh, Gaelic like, had to stay on, and they found a bit of land up behind Craig and Heights. They called it Piggery Ridge. They weren't for giving up. The men there were Gaelic from where they were born. They were determined that Gaelic Games was to stay in the city. It sort of developed from there and it progressed from there. won the treble. Uh, it was never done before by anybody in the town, in, in, the, in the city. Like. It's never been done. It's never been done since, I don't think. And all of a sudden, I got the young boys through, and youth and experience. We went on a great run, and obviously done the treble. Big Jeff Regardo was part of it, was, was a major part of it. Like He was a major part of it, because all the players have been playing there for years, and he came in and just made everybody just believe in it. It was a massive achievement. It was, I wasn't, wasn't heard of here, like especially for a team a local team. Something we never foreseen, we never thought we would get there, but they actually go and do it, you know, um, I mean it was an absolute, it was incredible to be involved in. Oh, for us it was, it was like one of the World Cup, that's just what it was.
Well, obviously, uh, there was a major fire at the club, uh, an arson attack. The night of the fire in question, I remember driving all the back road of Craig in there, coming in, Blaze Lane as they call it. Seen I seen the flames, I got down level with a bar, and seen the bar gone, I knew it just wasn't a bar. It just wasn't a bar gone, it was Gaelic football gone, Wayne's gone, team's gone. It wasn't just a bar. For two years we held, I think it was two years, maybe three, we held a senior team. We no pitch, no changing rooms, nothing. Every game was your disadvantage. You know, we were able to keep a couple of teams going and then they came through the senior and then there was probably no, no underage really happening and that was it really, you know, there wasn't anything happening. Our club was on its knees after the fires and it was easier to walk away and thanks to some of the coaches and players, the uh, core of the group, but actually kept strong and kept us going and alive. I'm going to go back to the famous words that was says to us the time of fire and I'm probably going to repeat down news like, there's Craig and Munch and Owens, the Shandones want Gaelic football. When somebody from, from a hierarchy as we would call it, the GA asked you a question like that, it more or less had you kick in the gut and say, get on mate. It was probably around then we thought, look, we have to really make a go of this properly. And so you're starting from scratch, which is probably not a bad thing either. We were able to do things the way we wanted and it's been tough too, don't get me wrong, it hasn't been it hasn't been easy, you know, but it was slow at the start, you know, we had a couple of teams, you had under tens out and under twelves, but now we're kinda of competing. Like our all our teams are competing with the best about. For me, if you get five wins off the of streets, try and Gaelic football, you're, you've won. Results don't matter. Results is on the end of a day, you're going training all week and it's great if you get it. But results isn't always the main part of football. And I believe strongly that what we're doing is supporting children and not stigmatising them, but by being involved in sport, particularly in Gaelic football, give them a sense of belonging and a discipline, which I think stands for in the future. It's like a family. Uh, it you can come like up and do anything you want. You can come up and you'll not feel left out whatsoever. Mm. Like, you're always like introduce uh, everybody just makes you feel welcome. I love going up and playing for Shando Owens each week and playing for La Badge and giving me 100% for Shando Owens. It's just a 100% team. Like when we play for La Badge, we, every player in the team gives 100%. It means going up and playing for La Badge every week and giving me on trying to get to play matches on the weekend. You'll not regret joining Gaelic. It's just like a sport like you can never like turn away from. The friends do you get on it? Friends for life. We make loads of friendship and it's really fun to play football in the team. We're just really looking forward to the new buildings. We can use all the like, all the equipment and we just kind of uh... Our purpose is to provide a facility and the support to play in the Gaelic football. We're not the important people up here. The players and the young people, they're the most important element to what we're doing. Oh, the, the future is very, very bright. As you say, this, this new indoor facility is going to be massive for us. To me, this can only benefit this community. You know, we've got that sort of uh, almost a 24-7 24, 24 club here and a facility that we can be absolutely proud of. It's, it's, it's going to be world class when it's finished. In years to come, you'll see, you'll see town coming in here, especially with the gears, it's come up very heavy and, and, the, and the wee boys and the rest. So, it's only time will tell. You know, the Craig and people are very proud of Shandones. They're engaging with Shandones. And one of the biggest turnarounds is if you go through Craig and now, you sometimes mightn't see the Celtic rig or the Man United rig. You'll see the Shandones rig. That's a major step forward for us as a community. And that's showing that this community wants Shandones. They're buying into Shandones. And we in turn feel like we're going to give something back to the community through this new project that we open our facilities to improve their health and well-being. Mm -hmm.